nowadays I invested a lot of time in character animation. I randomly found something that uh, can make our animation better. That's uh, hair and the cloth simul simulation. Uh, but I didn't use the traditional way. I used the geometry node to fix that. So it's not uh, the real simulation. It's just uh, geometry node animation. But uh, it make my character look uh, like vivid. So without any character animation, it looks good. It's not like a dead. So how to do that? I will show you. So now we have a character without any animation or simulation. So let's press play. So it will be like this. Nothing changed. So it's like a dead. It, it's like a statue. So let's go to geometry node to make that. So go to object mode and uh, let's select the hair first. So I will use the hair to demonstrate the method. Uh, you can try it later with the, like uh, the t-shirt, the sleeves, and uh, maybe skirt or anything else. So this time I will show you only using the hair. So let's press new, create a geometry node. So wait a moment, I need to change the language to English again because I'm making Chinese and English two version tutorials. So if we want to make the hair move like that, uh, we must have a node that's set position. So we put it here and we control the offset. It will move, move all over the object. And uh, the way I use to create the simulation effect is uh, use noise. Use this noise. Yeah, you can see it's going somewhere, but like it's very weird. So the effect is like a float, a uh, float attribute that it has only one direction. So the color has three directions, RGB. So it uh, so it correspond with X Y Z uh, axis three direction. So we connect the color. So it will be like this. It's much better, but it's not in the accurate position. Uh, that's because noise. Uh, the value of the noise is uh, always between one to uh, zero to one. So we want it to be like uh, from one to negative one. So we need a map range here, and we need to use vector because its color color is it is a kind of vector. So change from zero to one to negative one to one. Yeah. So the position is right, but it's like too strong. So we need a mass node here. Change it to scale, and it will be like too strong so change the scale to 0 0.1 so so it's much better but it's still too strong so you you can tweak this value like the, like 0 3 yeah and then we press play nothing happened because we didn't we didn't make the animation because the noise we ch needed to change it to 40 and it has a w value which can choose the animation so here I will use the scene time to drive the animation. So when I press play, it will be like this. So it's too fast. So I will need a mass node here to change it to uh, multiply. So I will change the value to 0 0.1. So it looks much better. So it's very close. So this is the first step. Uh, but what we want to, to make is like uh, the hair here uh, in the upside and uh, yeah just in the upside is uh, keep them still so we don't want them to have animation and uh, here the forehead this here we want it to have animation and the, the blue part of the hair we want them to have animation too because in the nature uh, these parts always have an animation when the window 
when the wind comes, they will like a swing in the air. So we need to control that. Here I use, uh, let's see, I use scale, change it to one, and I need to make a selection. So where we can get the selection? Here, I, here I found that, uh, let's go to weight paint. It has a weight here. Uh, and uh, we can see that here in this stat we choose the forehead this weight uh, shows the forehead and uh, the chest upper yeah, it shows the weight of the like uh, here the below part over here so we can use uh, this attribute to make uh, selections to restrict the animation only happen in these parts so what I use is the name attribute. So check this part. We didn't use any spawn named attribute or capture attribute, but we can use name attribute because this attribute is already stored in the former process. So we can use it. Uh, and uh, when we press name, we can see a lot here. And then we can easily find that chest up is over here. So we can use that. And then we duplicate another, we need to find the, let's see what's the name, four hair. So let's input four, we can see four hair. So we have these two. And if we, let's change the mode to object mode, connect the chest part to scale. And we see only blue part is moving. So that's correct. And if we connect the four hair to uh, to scale, we can find that only this part is moving, but it looks a little strong, so we can duplicate and multiply and connect here. Maybe change to 0 0.5. And uh, yeah, this is better, it's not that strong. So if you think it's uh, too strong, you can change the value to make it better. So how do we combine them together? And we go back weight mode. So we see here, the yellow part means there are values here, and the blue part means the value is zero. So uh, we want to make uh, the part, uh, all the yellow part moving, so we can easily use add. We can add these two parts. It won't affect each other because, check, forehead, chest up, they don't, they don't affect each other, so we can simply add them. And then let's go to object mode. Let's check the animation. So the animation is right. Uh, go to render mode. So let's play it. So we can see, let's go to layout to see it more clearly. So we can see the hair is moving. That's, uh, I think this effect, I like it. Let's grow it. So if uh, you want to like uh, add it to the cloth, here we need to choose the cloth. So we can, uh, I don't know which geometry node is. We need to press new and choose this one. Yeah, that's the one we made. And then we may add more animation no, we need to add more attribute here and add them, add them again. So, ah, now it has animation, but we, it doesn't have selection. So, that's not good. So, we need to change, like, uh, wait a moment. We need to go to wait mode. So, we need to check if it has the right part. Yeah, we have that. We copy that here. The sleeve. Sleeve, right sleeve. This is, no. This is the right sleeve. We are in the left sleeve. I think we need only change. 
right change the R to L I think yeah we have it so it's very easy that we add both of them add add and add to the hair part yeah and I think that's finished so let's go to object mode and see all of them let's go to layout and see all of them including the hair and the, the cloth so magic heaven and they all have animation and uh, I like it it's not heavy it's very light it's only driven by simulation though. and if we check if we check let's check yeah this is pose mode see it won't affect uh, any animation control of the character so it can exist, exist uh, with all other effects so if you like uh, fix the hair animation by gravity or other and then you add the geometry to it it will make this effect much better so this is today's tutorial and i hope you like it if you like it please thumbs up and if you want to see my future videos please subscribe okay thank you for watching bye bye